Welcome back to ABC4 News Midday. We are with Midday Weather School, Oak Crest Elementary in West Jordan here. We are with our six, sixth grade classes, right? Yeah. Is this the entire sixth grade class for the entire school? Yeah. Everybody? Wow. And I heard Nisha earlier mentioning that this might have been one of the bigger classes and weather schools we've had. And I think this probably qualifies as the biggest weather school we've had. Maybe 120? Now, I'm getting some nods from our teachers back here. That's about where we are. So everybody's been listening great today and answering really great questions too. But this is going to be a really easy one. I know you were really listening closely too. But uh, sometimes as being on TV, you like to talk about yourself a little bit. But I did go to college to find out a little bit more about weather to get my meteorology degree. But were there two things that, to study the weather that were most important to me that I had to study? And if you were listening closely, these are subjects you're taking right now. And another one you're probably going to take here in just a few years from now. Anybody know the answer to that question? What two subjects I really had to study? Okay, I saw a hand go up here really quick. I'm going to sneak my way through here so I don't step on anybody. And then I'm going to ask this gentleman what those two subjects are. What's your name, sir? Skyler. Taylor? Skyler. Skyler. Sorry, I got a thing in my ear. I didn't come in here. What were those two subjects I had to study a ton of to know about the weather? Math and sort of the P. Science. That's right, science. But I heard somebody over here say that there was a specific science course that I had to take to answer that one. And what is your name again? Valerie. Right. And that specific science course I had to take, I'm so sorry, I hope I'm not sitting on anybody back there. And of course, with that backside that's been there. Uh, what was that specific science course? Physics. Physics. So, math, science, physics, those were all very important things that we had to take. And believe it or not, the things that you're learning right now are things that were really, really important even when I got into college. In fact, right now, a lot of what you were just doing before we went into this, this was great, we were doing mental math here today. Do you know that I do that every single day? Because I get temperatures in two forms. Do you know what temperature comes in, those two different scales are? Okay, I saw this hand go up fast. I'm gonna ask this lady, what is your name? Madison. What are those two temperature scales? Isn't it Celsius and Fahrenheit? That is exactly right. So the thing is, they're not the same, and I have to convert every day. The thing is, after time, I've taught myself a little easy mechanism for this is, what is zero degrees Celsius? That's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So what's interesting is for every five degrees Celsius, you rise nine degrees Fahrenheit. So every 10 degrees Celsius, you rise 18 degrees Fahrenheit. A good starting point, I can teach them this later, is 10 and 50. 10 degrees Celsius is also 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what does that mean 20 degrees Celsius is? Add 18, right? 18 to 50 is? Isn't it, wait, 18 to 50? 18, 50 plus 18 is? 50 plus 18, 68. 68. So the thing is, I'm doing mental math every single day. That math you're using right now and you're learning is what I use every day. Great listening skills here, sixth graders. I've really been impressed today. But right now, do you want to know a little bit about the weather? All right, let's talk a little bit about the weather. So Mr. Todd back there is showing everybody on TV, and that is also probably the most important part. But there's a live look outside. We've been tracking this morning a little bit of rain, which has been freezing rain, believe it or not. And the simple term for that is, it sounds a lot more interesting, is that it's just ordinary rain. But if it hits the road that's 29 degrees and below freezing, it can freeze up into a sheet of ice. And that's not good for the cars. Air quality has also been something we've been watching. Air quality concerns where it's been yellow, moderate air for a better part of us today, expected to stay that way. Cache Valley could go though unhealthy though for sensitive groups, that is orange. And then looking at our temperatures, it's just looking pretty chilly after I hope you enjoyed the 40s yesterday because that's long gone. Looks to be we're back in that cold pattern in temperatures all across the region. Well, the spots that might be the mildest might be the spots that we can usually find at, and that's St. George. Bigger picture shows cold front moving through right now that brought that freezing rain. For us in the Wasatch Front, it doesn't mean much. We might find a sprinkle when you head home today. If you get in meeting your parents, getting in the car, uh, if you didn't bring your rain gear today, did you bring your rain gear? Nope. nope. Nah, that's probably pretty good. You probably don't need it here today. Central and southern Utah here, we're going to look from the rest of our weekend. It's just about colder air. 
And really, if maybe Beaver and Cedar City gets a snowflake tonight, it would be just that. It would be brief and it would be pretty light. We're just watching for colder air to move in across most of the region. And at least for the Wasatch Front, that means, unfortunately, some more bad air accumulating. And by the time we get to the weekend, could be maybe down to that orange category. We'd hope it doesn't get to that unhealthy for everybody red category. Performance Auto 7 day for St. George 55 today. Next week, St. George, I have rain in the forecast for you. Wasatch Front Salt Lake 7-day forecast. I've got at least just a cold weekend. By the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, sunnier skies, but staying chilly. And then as we go into next week, we'll really have to keep an eye on the forecast because the latest I'd seen is we have a chance of some rain and snow. Maybe not just snow here in the valley, but it could be very active beginning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not ending until Friday, that we could put some mount more mountain snow into the mix. And it means our reservoirs will be full this next year. Oak Crest Elementary, thank you so much for having me in today. We're going to say goodbye and help me out real quick. Well, we'll real quick, at, a at ABC4, we like to say we're good for Utah. So on the count of three, so tell me good for Utah, okay? So at ABC4 News Midday, we are one, two, three.